You must realise you're a pretty despicable person when every mention of your name is preceded by the word con man. For Peter Foster, that's been his lot in life for more than three decades now. But in June, we reported how he was more than a career fraudster, with accusations he'd attempted to hire a hitman to take out one of his enemies. Well, a welcome development. Last Thursday, a police investigation into Foster's nefarious activities led to his arrest on the idyllic sands of a Port Douglas beach. You couldn't get a prettier morning in Port Douglas than last Thursday. But for notorious con man Peter Foster, it was a case of paradise one minute, purgatory the next. On Four Mile Beach, two Queensland police officers dressed as joggers crash tackle Foster into the golden sand to arrest him on multiple fraud and money laundering charges. <coughs> this arrest marks another sensational chapter in the life and crimes of 57-year-old Peter Clarence Foster, who has been doggedly pursued for the last decade by fraud investigator Ken Gamble. Puppies, come on, pup. Took a while to find you, Peter. Ken, true to word, you got your man. We got him this morning in spectacular style, as, as anyone would expect with Peter Foster. Hey, I'm Detective Sam Tussman, Channel 1. Where are you from? He's major in organised crime squad. He looked up and only to see my face looking down upon him and uh, it wasn't a very happy sight for him, I can tell you. Did you exchange words? Yes, we did. Hello, Peter. Ken Gamble. Nice to meet you at last. Is that, is that foot step up? This is the second arrest of Peter Foster that Ken Gamble has facilitated. I'm not going to run, OK? <laughs> the first was in Byron Bay in 2014, when Foster was on the run over another one of his scams. Let's have a listen. It's little wonder that Foster hates his nemesis, Ken Gamble. You go back to your bloke and tell him if he... If, I'll pump the 30, right, that he's not going to do the wrong thing by me, right? Yeah. But if he does the right thing, there'll be 100 follow-up, not 50. So I'll pay, a, I'll pay 130, not 80, OK? In June this year, 60 Minutes sensationally reported Foster at one time attempted to hire a hitman to bump Ken Gamble off. I received information, very strong, reliable intelligence from a very reliable source that he was planning to have me killed. After our story went to air, Foster went on the run to Port Douglas in far north Queensland. But Ken Gamble was once again on his trail. Every morning he comes out here on this beach, he walks the dog, talks to locals, and blends in very well. He believed Foster was up to his old tricks with yet another scam called Sports Predictions. I am here to tell you about an emerging industry that is experiencing a boom greater than anything the world has ever seen before. He allegedly swindled one unsuspecting investor out of $2 million to bet on international sports results. Instead, Foster was lining his own pockets and eyeing off luxury boats before police torpedoed his plans. He was ready to, to, to purchase the boat for a million dollars and uh, I know that he absolutely had plans to skip the country and sail out. He had plans to sail into the sunset and didn't see this coming at all. He was going to be gone a long way away from me and a long way away from law enforcement in Australia. I'm very worried about my little dog. Can we please? Yeah, that's going to be fine. What happened to the two dogs? He seemed incredibly concerned about the two dogs. He was more concerned about the dogs than he was himself. We'll take care of them, don't we? No, no. I offered to take uh, care of them myself personally, but uh, he wasn't real wrapped at that idea. The dogs will be looked after, but their owner really is in the doghouse this time. Peter Foster is expected to be extradited to New South Wales this week to face a raft of fresh charges. Is that it for Peter Foster now, or do you need to be always on guard? I think we'll be able to relax for a few years. Uh, I, I, th these these offences carry, uh, the fraud offences carry 10 years in prison, up to 10 years. The money laundering carries up to 20 years because it's the most serious category of money laundering. And with Peter Foster, expect the unexpected. Well, he's uh, a master of manipulation. He's manipulated the system before, and uh, I would not be surprised if he tried to do it again. Why are we doing it like this? Why are yeah, we doing it in a civilised manner? 
You know why? No, I don't. Well, you, you've got a history of running away, Peter, so there's, 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 police have got to just do their job. You know? Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.